वट टाइप ऑफ थेरेपी इज बेस्ट फॉर इनफिडिलिटी इनफिडिलिटी के लिए किस तरह की थेरेपी सबसे बेस्ट रहती है therapy that is reformative therapy that actually works with the individual so there will be two types of therapy that would be working for this person one would be individual and one would be a uh, couple therapy individual therapy would rather focus on what made the person change are their needs not being met and also how do they have any sort of trauma or any experiences in their childhood which make them more likely to change um uh, also do they have guilt shame so a form of restorative therapy which would work with their guilt and shame about the incident and about cheating and seeing if they can forgive themselves for it and also couples therapy to see whether it would work in a couple how can one do decide what therapy is to be done decide kar sakte hain ki hame kis tarah ki therapy leni hai uh i don't think you can decide it i think you can learn about it first and then decide it so you'll have to actually go learn about what do you think is happening to you and then maybe consult two three types of therapists to see which one fits the best for you because you might feel that one therapy is working for you but in actuality another type of therapy might be very helpful so my suggestion to you would be to read about the different types of therapy or know about the different types of therapy and then try at least two or three and then pick which one works the best for you and also which one do you think your therapist or counselor is suggesting and why do you think they are suggesting those it all depends on the type of issues you want to work with can you recover from multiple affairs if so how kya hum multiple affairs se recover kar sakte hain aur agar ha to kaise so when you asking me can someone recover from multiple affairs you mean the person who cheated or the person who been cheated on so who is been cheated on i think you can be but for that we would have to look at uh what makes you not see the cheating to a large extent or what makes you go back to the same partner who keeps cheating on you uh because most likely it would be related to your childhood trauma uh in some way or form where we would either be with this person because they don't leave us or we are scared of abandonment or we are scared of not feeling belonged in other spaces and we keep going back to this one person who disrespects us and keeps cheating on us uh so it is possible for people to recover from multiple affairs uh and i i don't know if affairs is the right word i mean multiple times of being cheated on uh because it would leave a feeling of not good enough how do you heal from infidelity hum infidelity se kaise heal kar sakte hain by understanding that a lot of times the problem might be about someone else and they need and they impulses and it doesn't mean that you're not good enough but also to effectively think on whether you would be good enough or not in terms of is there something in the relationship that you could have done or seen differently or spoken differently in would also be a very good reflective exercise for you to be able to heal from it in an effective way um also it would have to now you would if you've been cheated on multiple times you would have to learn to build trust and learning to build trust would require you to understand which parts of you felt betrayed and build that backwards what should you not do after infidelity infidelity ke baad aapko kya nahi karna chahiye don't immediately start dating don't date the same person take some time off would be some of the things that you, you shouldn't do like you shouldn't be able to date the same person again you shouldn't randomly go into another relationship what you should do essentially is take some time off and reflect to go to a therapist heal figure out what's happening should you always separate or end the relationship marriage after infidelity kya hame hamesha apni marriage ko end kar dena chahiye relationship ko infidelity ke baad 
not necessarily it depends on both parties and both parties uh, also it depends on the person who has been betrayed or cheated because if they can actually start truly trust their partner again then the relationship can survive but if they can never truly trust their partner and hold resentment with the partner for cheating on them then the relationship should it would be hard for the relationship to survive but if they can truly start to trust the partner and the person who is cheated works on themselves and takes responsibility and acknowledges how the cheating has affected their partner then the relationship or the marriage could stay and they would not need to break up how is post infidelity trauma treated post infidelity trauma ko kaise treat kiya ja sakta hai by building loving caring relationships because a lot of relationships are healing but my suggestion would also be to try to do some form of emdr on the relationship trauma of being cheated so that gets uh, sorted there only and doesn't continue to carry forward 